In the last lesson, we talked about interference of light coming from a double slit. We described a single source of light, and like going through both slits, this made each slit a new source of light. And light coming from the two sources of light were interfering uh, and showing an interference pattern on a screen. But there are other ways to accomplish this kind of interference. Consider two vertical mirrors that touch each other at one edge. Make these two mirrors form a small angle. If we have a point source of light that sends a pencil of light to the mirrors, they will reflect the light. Its mirror will create a virtual image of the point source of light. As seen from the real space, each one of these images acts as a point source of light, and the light reflected off of each mirror will interact forming an interference pattern just as that from the double slit. This we call the Fresnel mirrors. Another arrangement to obtain the same interference is with Lloyd's mirror. This is just one mirror and light sent from a point source as one that is close to the plane of the mirror. At the other side, we place the screen and light will reach the screen from the point source and also reflect it off of the mirror. Both pencils of light will interfere at the screen, as if light was coming both from the actual point source and also from the point image. We can also obtain two point images out of a point light source by using a convex lens cut in two diametrically and separating them slightly perpendicular to the optics axis. Here we would have two real images, S1 and S2, obtained from a single point source S. This is Billet's split lens. The interference of the double slit experiment is very relevant in quantum physics. It has been performed repeated times, and, but not always by using actual slits. May science be with you.